Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we have the Scout Trooper helmet from Return of the Jedi. I've actually been looking forward to this helmet for quite some time. So after some extensive research, I found that the helmet from RS Prop Masters to be the most accurate uh, Scout helmet on the market today. And that also includes uh, some offerings from officially licensed sources as well. So according to their website, um, they use the same materials, the same building techniques as the original helmets from the Return of the Jedi movie. Um, I'll include links to the RS Prop Masters as well as some other um, references that I found uh, during my research. So um, I was lucky enough to get one of these uh, from their Black Friday sale last October and I received it a few weeks ago. So uh, when you go to their website, you can order this as a, a clean finish or as uh, weathered. As you can see here, I opted for uh, the weathered look as I remember it the best from the four scenes on Endor. So as we take a look at the helmet, uh, the weathering is performed with a very natural look. Uh, it's not overdone or heavy. Um, there's enough randomness, uh, depth, and variation in character that it actually looks naturally weathered. Uh, for anyone who has weathered props before, this is extremely difficult to achieve uh, without an experienced artist with a good eye, good hand. Uh, what is intended to be natural weathering may look unnatural and unbelievable. Um, you know, in general, splattering paint and just scratching the surface uh, really is not considered to be uh, weathering. So as we continue to take a look at this, um, the color of the helmet is an off-white. Uh, it is certainly not a pure white. I think when you get to the pure white hue, it starts to look a little bit more toy-like, uh, which this is not. Um, and of course, you know, under different lighting conditions, uh, it could look lighter um, or darker or change the hue of the color. Um, but overall, the finish, I would say it's more uh, satin-like uh, with a slight sheen to it under uh, direct light. Um, otherwise, it leans a little bit more towards uh, matte. Um, and, you know, generally it's a non-reflective finish, uh, and it is certainly not glossy for sure. Um, let me um, pull another helmet here for a comparison. So this is a Black Series Stormtrooper helmet. And you can see here that uh, the Black Series looks more toy-like because I think that's the market that this helmet it was directed towards. Uh, the sheen is very glossy. Um, the color is more on the pure white side. And overall, it just looks and feels um, more like a toy uh, versus a prop, if you will. All right, so this helmet is also functional. So what that means is that the face mask does open. And even though you do not see the helmet open uh, during the movie, uh, this was designed to be opened. So you can see there how easily it was to open. You can also see in this view how they've cut out and shaped the visor so that it does, uh, let's say, conform around the shape of the helmet quite nicely. And then internally, it uses uh, a hard hat style cage uh, that is adjustable. Uh, my head is 56 centimeters in circumference and I have the strap opened up all the way. Um, it's a snug fit, it's not uncomfortable, um, but I would have preferred to have maybe one or two more clicks of adjustment. Um, but it works for me, uh, I think for 
larger heads, um, it'll be a challenge and this may not be the best um, fit for you. So one of the things just to take a quick look is the shape of the visor and you can see that the gap between the visor and the helmet is very minimal um, it's how it should look and there's no obscene gaps uh, between the visor and the helmet so the section i'm talking about is right in here that gap right there so Clearly, uh, the way RS Prop Masters designed this helmet and finished it, uh, they did it properly. All right, so there you have it. Um, extremely happy with this helmet. I don't think you could get um, any better than this. Um, there's many different options. Um, I prefer the more screen accurate type props as much as possible. And after comparing this with some other offerings and looking at the, the various details of the helmets, um, clearly this is the most accurate. Uh, scout helmet out there. Uh, so I'm extremely happy with this and um, hope this helps folks uh, make a better decision in your own purchase. So hope you enjoyed the video uh, and take care. Thanks again. Bye-bye.